Okay, this is my second fluke catch and cook. And this one we're going to roast. Um, I try a couple of new things in prepping this fluke, as you'll see later on. But this was the only keeper I caught that day. Uh, fluking has been kind of slow in my area. It hasn't really broken wide open yet. Uh, this time last year I had three limits and, you know, multiple keepers on every trip and so far it's been kind of a struggle, but yeah, this is, um, this fluke ended up being a little over 25 inches and about five and a half pounds, so little bit larger than I would like to roast whole but that's what people wanted so I give people what they want anyway um, I bleed the fish out just a small cut if you cut too deep the fluke's gonna die before pumping out all the blood now you just check to see if the blood is flowing if it is leave it in the water for five 10 minutes tops and then transfer it to your cooler. So, so anyway, this, um, huh, I'm cutting the scales off instead of trying to scale the fish. Fluke have very tiny, tightly packed scales that I haven't found a scaler that works. And this is my first time trying this method. Um, to be honest, I I've always thought this was just more bullshit from Japan, but it's surprisingly easy. The knife doesn't want to go through the skin. Um, you certainly don't need a special knife. You know, I've I've seen them use something that looks like like a katana, which is ridiculous. But anyway, this is just a normal chef's knife. Um, I'm going to experiment with maybe a serrated knife, uh, maybe even just a paring knife. It does get a little tricky when you go around the edges. See here I have the fish resting on the edge of the board so I can angle my knife that way. Um, I did manage to poke a pretty big hole in the skin as you'll see, but it's fine. I mean this is... Um, this is a nice and clean method. It takes maybe a little bit longer than scaling it, but like I said, I've never had perfect results trying to scale fluke. So there you see that little hole. That's fine. Uh, next time I'll try to perfect this technique. Anyway, you, um, you want to trim the tail and the fins. This is just for a neater presentation. Um, I need to sharpen that pair of scissors. By the way, I think the scale slicing technique should work nicely on blackfish too. Okay, here is my biggest mistake. Is I'm only going to roast the, the top half of the fluke. So I'm removing the white side fillet. Um, I don't want to have to go flip the fish in the middle of roasting it. So I should have gutted the fish first. And um, yeah, but anyway. So now you, you go up to the backbone and then you ride over the backbone. And you want to hear and feel your knife scraping the bone. And here you cut through the ribs. And yeah, I'm, I'm not nearly as fast as the pros on party boats or, you know, but it's good enough. Just take your time and try to get a clean fillet. So this piece, I... I think I just vacuum packed it and saved it for some other use down the road. I mean, there's only 
four people that I'm feeding, so half of this fluke is more than enough. This also gives you the opportunity to season um, the other side of the fish. So here I stuffed some paper towels in the body cavity and now I'm making slices down to the bone about three quarters of an inch apart. And you just cut straight down. Uh, you don't want these cuts to be at an angle. Okay, you see these these are deep cuts down to the bone and now I'm slicing up some lemons for garnish. These round lemon slices will go um, on the bottom of your roasting tray. These thinner slices of lemon are going to be stuffed inside the fluke where I made those slices. Anyway, here's a lightly oiled uh, foiled pan and oh that's that's fennel by the way I just happen to have some fennel lying around and the flavors work okay here's some thyme and you're just making a bed to um, infuse the underside of the fluke as it roasts. There I'm kind of picturing how the fluke is going to lie in the pan. So the fluke I wrapped in paper towels and um, here I just drizzle some olive oil on the white side, rub it in, kind of massage it a little and here I'm seasoning the fluke. And by seasoning we just mean salt. And I'm going to show you um, exactly how much salt I use. You might think this is a lot. First of all, home cooks tend to under season food. And secondly, that's flaked kosher salt, which by volume is half the sodium of normal table salt. Uh, here you see. I left a little room for the head since I hollowed out the white side of the body and those fennel and lemon slices also just gives the fluke a little bit more shape. Uh, okay so more olive oil on the top side and you know really work it in to the cuts that you made. Okay, and here I'm seasoning the top side, and again, I mean, this looks like a lot of salt. I, I, I promise you it's not too much salt. And as usual, you can season to taste. You can use less salt if you want your food to suck. I'm just kidding, but seriously, you, there's no, this is your only chance to season your fish, and you know, if, if you if you under season this fluke, it doesn't matter what else you do, it's it's going to be a terrible dish. If all you do is drizzle it with some olive oil, salt, and pop it in the oven, you will have an excellent meal. But if you under season it, it, it's it's going to be crap. Okay, so those thinly sliced uh, half lemons um, we stuff into the slices that we made. And this gives it flavor. It also looks pretty nice because the rind is going to char in the oven. And by the way, the oven is set at 500. Um, you want a very hot oven. And since you only have half the fluke to roast, you don't have to worry about flipping it. Uh, it takes about, on this one I think it took eight and a half minutes, but I'll show you how to check. Anyway, here you just stuff some thyme sprigs in as well, and um, I love thyme. I mean, all of this is optional.
The only thing not optional is salt. I don't put any pepper on fluke. Um, it, it's just a very mild fish and I don't think it needs it. So here I finish with, with a little bit more olive oil and yes, more salt. You know, while you're stuffing it with lemon slices, you're rubbing a lot of salt off. So, all right, 500 degree oven. Luke goes in, top rack. And we'll check after four minutes. So this is about four and a half minutes. You see how nice um, the skin kind of crisp up. You just use your spatula and just kind of see how translucent the flesh is near the bone. This, this needed about a couple more minutes. Um, rotate the pan because your oven is not evenly heated. Okay, here's it's done and here a little bit of a mishap. Okay, just keep calm and finish the movement you were doing. You know, don't go putting the flute back onto the tray. Everything is fixable to an extent. Okay, just put the tail back on, flip the skin over, it's no big deal. I took a couple pieces of lemon and put it over the spot where the tail broke off. So anyway, that's the fluke. Um, again, it's it's a little big for this kind of application. Uh, here is a photo of a previous fish I did that's more appropriate size. I had some more time, so I made it look a little bit nicer. Anyway, I hope that helps. I hope you enjoy. and. Um, yeah, if you like what you see, please subscribe, um, and I'll see you next time.